Now we turn to the other big story, another sad chapter of the ongoing national conversation on race, justice, and police brutality. The funeral for New York City Police Officer Rafael Ramos in Queens yesterday. Tens of thousands of police and well-wishers turned out, many traveling from across the country to honor the fallen officers. But the backlash against New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio continued as officers once again turned their backs to him as a show of disrespect when he spoke. Both Officer Ramos and his partner, Win Jian Lu, whose funeral arrangements have not yet been finalized, were promoted posthumously to first grade detective by New York City Police Commissioner William Bratton, who addressed the divide between the police and protesters upset about recent cases of police brutality. If we can learn to see each other, to see that our cops are people like Officer Ramos and Officer Lu, to see that our communities are filled with people just like them too, if we can learn to see each other, then when we see each other, we'll heal. We'll heal as a department. We'll heal as a city. We'll heal as a country. And wouldn't that be the ultimate, the ultimate honor for officers Ramos and Lou? Joined now by Commissioner Bratton of the New York City Police Department. Commissioner Bratton, thank you very much for joining us on Face the Nation. Two quick questions off the top. How safe are your New York City police officers and what is their level of morale? Officer safety is always a top priority in any police agency. Certainly here in New York, uh, it will remain that way. We are investigating over 50 incidents uh, of reported threats against our officers since the death of these two officers a week ago. Uh, we've closed out more than half of them with nine arrests uh, being made and we'll continue to investigate the others. Does so officer it? safety is always a great concern. And we have been issuing advisories to our officers, reminding them constantly to be on, their, on the alert, if you will, for potential dangers that might be directed against them. Does it feel in less dangerous the, now, uh, uh, Commissioner, does it feel less dangerous now than it did in the immediate aftermath of the slaying of those two officers? Policing is always a profession that's going to have potential danger. That's the reality of it. That's uh, re reflected in the bravery that our officers uh, exhibit every day going into the streets and communities of this country. Where unfortunately a fourth issue, you referenced three in your introductory remarks, a fourth issue we need to be very cognizant of is the anger and the hatred and the violence directed against our police officers that every year takes more than a hundred of their lives. So I think we need to broaden the conversation to include the dangers being directed against them also. And you were going to talk about morale. Quickly, how is the morale of your officers in this very morale tense in the time? Department at this time? Morale in the department at this time is low. There's no getting around that. that uh, that's the reality. And it's low for a multiplicity of reasons, including uh, contract negotiations. Uh, there's a lot going on that's particular to New York City that's separate and apart from the national discussions around issues of race and police. If you were to try to put a percentage on it, which is the bigger part of the morale problem? This national conversation, this national sense that police are somehow in the wrong, or these underlying more traditional beefs of, between the union and the mayor's office and uh, city hall? Oh, I think it'd be very difficult to uh, try to break it up that way, if you will, on a percentage basis. I think all of those factors contribute to what is at this time in the department, low morale. But what I would point out uh, is the professionalism of these officers who every day are going out there, continuing to reduce crime. This year will be a historic uh, uh, year for the department, the lowest crime rates ever, continuing a 21-year unbroken trend that began back in the 1990s. It's also the idea that uh, in the face of all these demonstrations, they've been showing remarkable professional restraint when so much of the invective is directed directly against them, personally uh, against them also. Do you think Mayor de Blasio should do more and should have done more to deal with what you just referred to as invective directed at your officers? I spent a lot of time with this mayor, and Mayor de Blasio is totally supportive of his personnel, this department. I've received hundreds of millions of additional dollars outside the budget this year. A lot of it focused on officer safety enhancements, additional training, additional equipment, additional technology. Uh, by the end of 2015, we will be the most advanced uh, police department in America in terms of technology, technology which will be extraordinarily beneficial to the safety of our officers. 
$35 million being focused on training enhancements, tactical skills enhancements. No, this is a mayor that cares very deeply about New York City police officers, cares very deeply, deeply about the divide in this city at this time, and is working very hard to heal that divide. But your office, some of your officers yesterday turned their backs when the mayor spoke, when they saw him on the video screen outside Rafael Ramos's funeral. Was that necessary? It, Was that something you support? And does that indicate that the mayor, for whatever he's put on the table financially, needs to do more to communicate more clearly his rhetorical support for your police officers? I certainly don't support that uh, action yesterday. I think it was very inappropriate at that event. That funeral was held to honor Officer Ramos and to bring politics or to bring uh, issues into that event I think was very inappropriate and I do not support it. Uh, he is the mayor of New York. He was there representing the citizens of New York to express their remorse and their regret at that death and it uh, was inappropriate. And At the same time it is reflective unfortunately of uh, the feelings of some of our officers that uh, at this juncture about not just the mayor but I think about some of the many issues that are uh, afflicting this city at this time in this particular police department. Police Commissioner William Bratton, thank you so much for joining us. I know you and your department have an enormous New Year's Eve to prepare for. We wish you all the best of luck with that and we thank you very much for joining us this morning.